Welcome to the Morning Star series, Ask the Expert. I'm Holly Black. With me today is Annabelle Brody smith She's Communications Director at the Association of Investment Companies. Hello. Hello, Holly. And we're talking all things investment trust today. And what we're going to look into more in depth is premiums and discounts, which is something that's unique to trusts. What does that mean? Let me explain. When you buy an investment trust, it's listed on the stock exchange. So you buy at the share price and you sell at the share price. So that's if the share price goes up, you've made money. Now, in addition to the share price, you can value the underlying assets of the investment trust. And we value up the assets, divide it by the number of shares, and that's called the net asset value per share. So it really gives you a figure of what that underlying assets are worth. The difference between the share price and the net asset value explains whether a trust is trading on a, at a discount or a premium. Now, if um, a trust is trading at perhaps a 90p share price, but its net asset values is 100p, you would say it's trading at a 10% discount. It's expressed as a percentage. So why would something move to a premium? Well, it really is a factor of supply and demand. So say you've got a company that you've got a really good manager with very good performance, or it's offering something that's very much in demand. So for example, our income investment companies or investment trusts with, share, with obviously interest rates very low at the moment, they're particularly in demand, then you may well get a company moving to a premium. And why would something fall to a discount? Well, again, perhaps the performance is not so good. Perhaps a fund manager leaves who's got a particularly good track record. Perhaps the sector goes out of favour. So, for example, I don't remember if you remember back to the tech boom and bust. The tech company investment trusts were all on premiums. And then, of course, the bust took place and they were all on wide discounts. So it does sort of depend on investment fashion and what's in favour too. But the, so the risk of buying at a discount is you could think, well, I think that will come back into favour or that will do better, in which case you can make a return as that returns back to its net asset value share price. But if it doesn't, you you could lose. Yeah, the real problem for long term investors, I wouldn't worry too much about discount volatility, but you do need to be aware of it. Now, um, if you buy at a discount, there is the chance that that company's discount will narrow and it will trade more closer to net asset value. But discount volatility really as an investor is more of an issue. So if you buy at 10% discount, sell at a 10% discount, it hasn't really had an impact. I think if you buy at a significant premium, then there is a danger that that uh, investment trust could go to a discount, which would be an additional drag on your performance. Yeah, because I can't think of many op uh, many times I would go into a shop, for example, and pay more than was on the ticket. So, is it ever worth buying anything at a premium? Well, every investor has to do their research clearly, um, and uh, you have to look at the analysis. Has that manager got a really, really good track record? Has that company got a very good track record when it comes to paying dividends? You really have to dig deep and think, is it worth paying the odds for this company? You need to look at the sector average, the discount or premium for the sector, and think, is it out of sync? Is this one particularly worth paying more for than the other companies. I would be uh, urge caution if, a, if an investment trust was on a significant premium to invest in it. But of course, it comes down to your research. And very quickly, finally, how do I check? Oh, well, you can go to the AIC website, obviously, <laughs> where we have all this data for each of our member investment trusts. I'm sure you go to Morningstar's website as well, and you would find all of this data available on a daily basis, updated daily. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. And thanks for joining us.